Emulators are a very interesting part of gaming. I'm sure you have at least heard about them. Essentially, they are applications that play ROM files just like a console plays games. So there are different emulators that correspond to different consoles. Project 64, for example, is the most common Nintendo 64 emulator. So if you download that to your computer, then you can use it to play Nintendo 64 ROMs. Dolphin is another emulator, very popular, and that is a GameCube emulator. Well, I actually heard about Citra just a few months ago, and to my knowledge, it is the most common, most popular 3DS emulator. Yeah, I guess I'm getting kind of old. I can't believe they actually have 3DS emulators now. Now, emulators are, of course, most common on just computers, but they also have emulators on other different kind of uh, applications or software. Like, I remember a buddy of mine growing up, he had a bunch of emulators on his Wii. Yeah, I, don't ask me how you get that. I have absolutely no idea how he got it, but yeah, he got it. But I've never heard of emulators being available on a VR headset, but apparently that is exactly what is happening with the Citra emulator, as the team behind that recently made a surprising announcement that Citra is set to venture into the new territory of the Meta Quest, which is, of course, a line of VR headsets made by Meta, or Facebook, however you want to call it. So this new Citra emulator is going to be called Citra VR. It is going to be an open XR application. It's going to be specifically designed for the Meta Quest. And it is actually going to be released three days from now on January 20th. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit different than downloading an emulator to a computer. Because, as with VR headsets, you're not just going to play it on a screen, like, you know, a regular screen. You're going to play it on an actual VR headset. Which is kind of cool, considering the 3DS is 3D. So, the whole uh, animation style of the 3DS being on a VR headset, that is going to be kind of cool. Now, in case you're curious, I was very curious myself. You know, what is the legality of this? Like, why would Meta allow this on their platform when Nintendo's probably just going to take this down right away. Well, it's not exactly that black and white, and while Nintendo might actually take it down, having an actual emulator is not illegal. Basically, an emulator is just designed to play video games. I guess the, like, intended use on paper of emulators is to play video games that people legally buy. But of course, 99% of the time, that is just not the case. People obviously are going to download ROMs of games for free on websites, and then use those emulators emulators to play those ROMs. That is definitely illegal, downloading these ROMs and playing it on emulators. But the emulator itself is not illegal, which I would assume that is why Meta is allowing it on their platform. Now, I did also see that Citra VR is specifically not going to launch on Steam due to the legal challenges faced by the Dolphin emulator that was actually available on Steam for a bit but was taken down off of Steam in mid-2023 due to legal issues. Again, like I said, you know, an emulator itself is not illegal, but I would assume in the Dolphin in case Nintendo just probably decided to take action. And maybe there was more to it. I don't know. I haven't really looked exactly into that story. But due to issues with Steam, Citra VR decided to pass with Steam. But, you know, we could see something like that with Nintendo in the future. They could take some sort of action to prevent this emulator from being on the meta headsets. Only time will tell with that. One thing is for certain, the Citra VR application being available on the meta quest, it really signifies an advancement of where we are today with video game emulation. Since they are now coming to virtual reality headsets. I mean, seriously, playing a game from like, what, 2012, 2013 on a virtual reality headset. I feel like this is straight out of a Black Mirror episode. So if you have a MetaQuest, mark your calendars for three days from now, January 20th. The emulator for 3DSs will be available on the MetaQuest. I can't believe that's actually happening. Yeah, I am very surprised, but nonetheless, a very, very big step in video game emulation.